Okay, welcome back. This is going to be a quick Photoshop tutorial on how to do some awesome color effects on making everything black and white except for what you want to. So let's find an image that we want. I want to jump over my website, click for royalty free pictures. I have some links for here. Go to Pixel Bay. Let's do something with eyes. Hmm. We'll just go ahead and grab this hair first one we see right here. This one here looks good. Hmm. Large be fine. We will open this with Adobe Photoshop. If you do not have Photoshop, you can download a free trial. This is Adobe Photoshop. Uh, Creative Cloud. So I'm going to start out by right clicking and hold and click this, then left, then let go on the quick selection tool. Sometimes you might have to do left click. Let me zoom in a little bit more here. Because I'm just going to highlight the eyeball itself with the reflection. You can click and hold and drag it. If it grabs too much, that's okay. We can fix that here in just one moment. Now, after it holds too much, you can uh, hold down the Alt key and it'll change your uh, from the plus to the minus so you can dis diselect what you didn't want selected there I'm just going to go through and kind of trim this up a little bit I don't think I want their eyelashes too much we'll feather that in in the next part here Okay, so now that we have that there done, oh, I forgot to change it over to uh, photography, so that way you have different layouts here. And you're going to be looking for the black and white. And of course it shows what we selected, but we need to switch that, so you click on this here mask area click invert now we'll touch this hair up uh, let's see this hair refine edges tools And second thought, I think I'm just going to only do the pupil itself, not the rest of the eye. But you can do it however you would like. After you get the area that you like, you go ahead and apply, and you can zoom out a little bit, and if you like it like that, you can keep it like that, but I really like blue eyes, so I am going to adjust the 
hues and saturations. Let's see if I can find it here. I have a head cold, that's why I sound like butt. I apologize. Uh, let's see. There we go. I like the that blue there. Nope, let me move that back to zero. Okay, I like that there. Uh, let me do one more adjustment curves layer. And then you can just do file and save. Uh, let's see. Throw this in pictures. I'll save it as a PNG. Uh, I usually don't like to compress them. And voila. You have changed the eh. change it drastically from before to after or here you can also just click it all off here see just uh that's just changing the lighting of the curves and then I did the whole hue and then I just did the eyeball only If you like it more black and white, you can have it like this. And if you're still watching, I'll go ahead and run through one more image real quick of other people. Uh, that way you can just see how I highlight one person. I cannot type. Uh, let's see, let's find a group of people. Uh, this dude right here. No idea who he is, but he is our lucky volunteer. I'm good. Open it with Photoshop. So here we go again. We're gonna make sure you have the quick selection tool. I want to make my brush a little bit bigger here. Start with his middle. And then you can zoom in. Click the hand, three center. Go back to your quick select. I'm going to lower the brush size down. Oop, got too much. Hold Alt take away the stuff you did not want to select. Get his ear in there, of course. Try to get his collar. Zoom in a little bit more. Oh, that, that face. Select, make it a little bit smaller, even, and try. Yeah, his ear with his helmet strap right there. Get his helmet strap. Take out this here little part right there. You can 
go detailed as you want on this hair part. It's all personal preferences. Oops, I did not mean to random select that part. Okay, this dude selected awesome. So we'll go again to the black and white portion here. It only made him, so we click on our mask here we just made. Invert it. And if this is what you want, just have them like that. That's perfect right there. If you want, you can also change the density to have them not so much right here. This will just lighten up if you look at your mask here. It'll just take it from being a solid black where, you, where you're not editing this part. Make it more transparent so he just has a little bit of color to him. I'll keep him just a little bit faded for this hair picture. Uh, let's see, anything else I want to do this hair photo? I'll just add a quick curves layer on. Bring it down, pop the lights up a little bit. And voila, I will go ahead and probably make this as one of my thumbnail images. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, please comment and I will continue making more tutorials. And please consider subscribing if you are not a subs current subscriber. You have an awesome day. Oh no, not there.